Only those with excellent social standing and those from filthy rich families are lucky enough to spend their time here at the elite private school, Oran Academy. The Oran Host Club is where the school's handsomest boys with too much time on their hands entertain young ladies who also have way too much time on their hands. Just think of it as Oran Academy's elegant playground for the super rich and beautiful. Welcome everyone to the 19th episode of Taki Soba with our review of Oran High School Host Club. This anime is a comedy classic that makes fun of a lot of harem anime tropes, and by the first episode, I could already see why it was so popular. Oran Host Club was one of the first anime I watched while getting into the medium. It was great being able to watch it again and relive the hijinks of the host club. Oran High School Host Club debuted in 2006 with a 26 episode run. It's a reverse harem, and a regular harem is a type of anime where the male main character is surrounded by female characters, with romantic comedy being the focus, often with love triangle type drama. With the main character in Host Club being a female surrounded by guys, this is an amusing twist on the tropes, but this anime is also a parody of harems in general, so there is no shortness of hilarity. As you saw in the intro, the Host Club is where handsome boys can let beautiful girls fawn over their charm when they have nothing better to do. Our female lead Haruhi accidentally wanders into the host club one day and breaks a vase, putting her in debt. She was dressed so boyishly that the host club's founder initially thought she was a boy and offered Haruhi to become a host and entertain girls to pay off her debt. Haruhi still accepts as she has no other choice and she cross-dresses to become a handsome host. Afterwards, the series follows an episodic structure with each episode focusing on a member of the host club. There's a nice mix of comedic and dramatic episodes that make the show enjoyable. However, there are some odd episodes here and there with the Alice in Wonderland parody and some more serious episodes about a host club member. As for the romance, the ending does provide some closure to whom Harry may choose as her lover, but the anime does not adapt all of the manga, so you will have to read it to see the true ending. Every character in the host club has an exaggerated archetype but over time, they do develop into real characters. Tamaki, the leader of the host club, views everyone in the club as his family, which adds to the hilarity in the way he treats Haruhi. Now let's discuss those amusing characters. Haruhi is our cross-dressing female lead, who turns out to be a pretty popular host with the ladies, who think she's just a cute boy. The host club boys are introduced in the anime itself by their character types, and they are Tamaki, the eccentric and romantic founder, Kiyoya, a calculated and reserved accountant, Kaoru and Hikaru, the charming twins, Honey, a baby-faced senior, and his quiet and cool friend Mori. You won't actually see most of these boys show any romantic attraction toward Taruhi, but I won't say who does, and either way, it still makes for some really funny character interactions. As Malesh said, we do get a lot of episodes focusing on just one host. While they are introduced as caricatures, over time, you do come to appreciate what they all have to offer. It's great to see Haruhi's friendship with each of them develop. Beyond the host club, there are some notable, recurring side characters that do provide some great banter with the main cast. One of them is Renge, a girl that becomes the manager of the host club and organizes ridiculous events for the patrons of the club. There are even episodes focused entirely on the host club, helping sort of problems the side characters have, which provides amazing development and fresh comedic scenarios. Altogether, Orin had some amazing characters that I wish I could meet in real life. The ever amazing Studio Bones animated Orin Host Club, whom you may know for more action-oriented shows like Full Metal Alchemist or My Hero Academia, but they still did a great job with a slice of life. The arts are reminding me a lot of the famous artist group Clamp does, with the character designs having long legs and a clean look to them. You might think since this anime came from 2006, that the animation won't hold up, but Bones manages to create a beautiful work that still holds up today. I also thought this was pretty great for a mid 2000s slice of life, and since it's all about aristocracy and high society, the art style and character design truly made everyone look rich and beautiful. The painted backgrounds for many scenes were really great, since the locations in this anime featured extremely opulent architecture. The soundtrack for Host Club was fitting in the same way as it incorporated classical music. The opening and ending themes of this anime were unusual in that the English dub actually covered them. I've never seen an anime have that other than Pokemon, but in this case I really did love the English rendition of Kiss Kiss Fall in Love. I enjoy the whimsical soundtrack Host Club had. With the students being from rich backgrounds, it made sense for there to be classical compositions. I also really love the pop sounding opening that was awesome in both English and Japanese. The ending was okay, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it. As for the voice acting, 
I prefer the dub, since it shares a lot of the cast from Full Metal Alchemist, like Vic Maniana playing Tamaki after playing Edward Erwick from Full Metal. I thought this dub was ultra top tier. In addition to the great shared cast from Full Metal, a lot of voice actors here are just some of the best in anime. I know some purist otakus would default to subtitles, but for less strict fans who go either way, I recommend you guys watch the dub. I had a blast rewatching Oren Host Club. It's truly an accomplishment of its time. There really aren't any other reverse harem shows that come as close to being as good as Oren is. This is the perfect starter anime for anyone into romantic comedies. I loved Oren Host Club immensely. It's one of the best slice of life comedies I've seen from any anime. I think it's a good starter anime, but there are some references to otaku culture that pure newbies might not get. There's just a couple jokes that can go over your head if you don't know the terms, but there's still context provided for us. I would recommend this anime to everyone. You can watch Oran High School Host Club for free on Yahoo View and Funimation's website, both with subtitled and dubbed versions. You can also buy a Blu-ray and DVD collection. As always, if you've already watched Host Club, click the first link in the description for a post-review discussion, which includes light spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Oran High School Host Club. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a review of the winter anime season's Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Ciao.